far we have a functional game. I can shoot. If the aliens hit the bottom and hit the, the ship, then they will stop working. So now the next thing I need to do is try to keep score. So we need to create a label. So I'm going to stop that. I'm just going to create this inside my did move at the very beginning. So I'm going to create my label. This is an SK label node. And from this, we can actually define the name of the font as well. So call this Helvetica. Okay, and we need to define some of these properties as well. So the first property that we're going to change is the text. So label, I'm oh sorry, I call it score label dot text. Let's just make this equal to score colon, um, and then we're going to insert the score. Okay, again, we haven't created this variable yet, so let's do that. Var score equals zero initially. Okay, then we need to set the size of the font. I'm going to set this to 25, which is quite fairly large. Set the position of it. Parent. I'm going to use the screen sizes again. Set the color of the label. And then lastly, we need to, whoops. And then lastly, we need to make sure that we add this to the view. Okay, so if I run this, I want to make sure I'm happy with my positioning. Score label sitting at the top there. That's quite nice. I'm happy with that. Um, so we need to manipulate this every time that I score. So let's go down to our um, function. So because it's declared globally, I'll be able to access it from everything else. So in our collision detection, we know when we are removing the bullet and removing the alias, that means I've hit something and I've, I've scored. So we can increment the score. So we write score equals plus, I'll tell you an interesting 10. Uh, you could do the same thing by saying score plus equals 10. It's the exact same thing, just shorthand. So let's do the shorthand version. And then I need to add that new score to that label so update the score label so score label dot text is equal to i had score colon and i use my escape sequence to enter the value so now each time i shoot should update my score so that's how we can add a score. Remember, it's pretty important for our user feedback. Other features you might want to look at is how could you have some uh, positive feedback, perhaps if they miss or if they uh, hit the alien, you could have some sort of positive feedback noise that tells them they did something positive uh, and that will increase our feedback loops. Now, what you need to do is to make this into a bit more of a interesting game. So at the moment, we've got pretty boring blocks for our aliens. Uh, you should have learned in the introduction unit how you can replace these with SK sprite nodes with images, likewise for the ship as well. Uh, the, sh the bullet's pretty good, pretty happy with that. But you could also think about those feedback options that I was talking about. So we've got feedback for our score, so I know I'm doing something positive, but you could add some audio feedback when it crashes. Uh, it could be a negative feedback. When I hit something, it could be a positive feedback. Um, I'll leave you to create those sounds and to add them. But what you'll need, you'll need to do for your formative assignment, if you're running in this course as a part of our classes, you'll need to iterate through the design, iterate through the function, show your depth of knowledge by making some changes, and then submit the full game. For the summative task, you're going to have to create Brick Breaker, which I'm going to show you in the next video.